Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. So this video is gonna be pretty quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you why you can't always trust the weight that you see on a booster pack for whether or not it can be guaranteed a heavy or a light or you know anything in between. Uh, the only way that you're really gonna know is if you're buying from someone that you trust and that they can say without a fact that the packs are heavy because they were able to compare it to lights from the exact same booster box. So I'm gonna give you two packs as an example. We've got this one right here. This is a 20.61. This would be a standard light pack. Now I have seen them as low as 20.2 and I've seen them as high as 21.2 for light packs um, from what I've shown you guys here on the channel other than the UK one which I saw at 21.3. And then we have another pack right here. You've got a 21.28. So I mean that would almost be like for sure guaranteed a heavy. We're gonna weigh out a few more. Got 21.3, 21.41. So yeah, I mean that one should be you know definitely a heavy pack. But what I'm here to tell you is actually this is a light pack. In fact, this entire stack here off to the left weighs at least 21.2 grams. They weigh 21.2 to roughly 21.4, which you saw on this pack right here, and they're all light. And I would think that if I sold these packs out and gave the exact weight that people would buy them as heavy packs and just basically assume that that's exactly what they are. And I pulled these from a booster box. You guys saw me open the box. I opened up one of the packs. It was a Hitmonchan holographic card. Uh, so there are hollows. The cards are you know legit, they're real. But all these right here, these are light packs and they're in the very heavy, almost guaranteed heavy weight range that we normally know. So for me to sell these out as light packs and to uh, show the weight, people would be asking, you know, why are you selling this as light? That's a heavy weight. Well, I'm just here to tell you that's not always the case with print runs like Base Set where there were lots of them. I, I believe there was at least 11 different print runs for, for the Unlimited um, set. I, I've got some sheets that say that they're the 11th print run. And in between those runs, I mean, they, I guess they use varying slightly varied stock or ink amounts and it changed up the weight of the cards themselves now i guess if i guess if you believe me on this you're wondering you know if, well if those are the light packs you know how much do the heavy packs weigh so now i'm going to tell you i've seen heavy packs come out of boxes uh where 20.8 20 20.8 was the heavy i've even seen lighter than that before 20.75 is uh what i've seen 20.8 is the uh, general highest or lowest that I've seen for uh, what I've recorded. All right, so here's a pack. I think this right here is the lightest of the heavy packs out of the box. And the reason I have that one pulled out is because we're probably going to open it. So we got 21.68, which is like, you know, a mega heavy. But just to show you guys, I'm going to show you some more of these. 21.78. And you got 21.75. You can see all of these are just weights that you don't normally see, but they do exist. They do come out. Don't think that just because you see something that weighs over 21 grams that it should be a heavy pack. You know, I could sell three of these light packs together and just show their weights and most people would buy them as if they were heavy. I'm going to look at that 21.83. This box didn't even have 12 holes. It actually had 17. You know, and on these, I can actually tell from the curvature of the pack. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's actually slightly concave, and then you've got convex up here. So you can see that there's a hollow in there without even having to weigh the pack. But I'm going to open up this lightest of the heavy packs just to show you guys that um, all of these should. I've already opened up one heavy pack, but I've been blessed with having more than 12, so I don't mind opening up or opening up the second one. And when I sell these, I don't even know if I'm going to offer them out. Uh, as light packs to the public just because I don't want them being resold as heavies. I may just have to grade them through PSA and go that route even though it takes forever. So let's see what we get out of this pack just so you guys can see that the card should be completely legit. Hopefully I'll pull a Charizard or something. Hitmonchan, you know, I, I don't mind that, but I'd rather have something else. I don't want another Hitmonchan. Wait, that's the fourth card. So let's see what we got. You can, you can see that curve probably from right there all right so you got switch maybe we'll weigh out some of these individual cards and see what they weigh got doduo metapod got psychic energy magmar 
Dugong, Magikarp. And just for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and open up this other pack that was supposed to be light, and then we'll compare. Well, I'm going to open up this light pack. That way I can compare the non-holographic card out of this one to a non-holographic card out of the pack that we just opened up. I hate burning light packs because I don't grade, I just sleeve these things out and sell off to the side. But let's go ahead and do that. Killed the wrapper. Alright, so this should just have a rare inside of it. So we'll just go through. You got Poliwag, Energy Removal, Star Me, Star You. You got Super Energy Removal. Alright, so before we look at that hollow, let's look at the weight of, let's say, this Poliwag. See if we can see a noticeable difference there. We got 1.79 grams. And that's for just a regular non-holographic card. We're going to weigh out a few, see if they all kind of weigh the same. 1.80. 1.80. So we weigh three there. So now let's take a Magikarp from our other heavy pack box. Well, it's it's a light pack, but it's a heavy light pack, if that makes sense. This is a non-holo. So you can see 1.85 grams. So it weighs five hundredths of a gram more. 1.86 so you can see that the weight changes even in the non holographics yeah 1.88 on the energy maybe they gotta use deeper colors for those yellows 1.88 see if we can get an energy from this pack do a fire energy 1.78 1.79 so anywhere at least half or five hundredths of a gram, you know, the, the non hollows weight. And if you multiply that by, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you've got ten cards here. So you're looking at at least half of a gram different weight, difference in weight between, you know, the non hollows from this and the non hollows from this. Let's see if there's any difference in the pack weight. That doesn't pick up. Wait, 0.71. All right, this should be the heavier one. 0.73, even a little bit difference there. Look at that. So as you can see, just the non-hollows have a difference in weight. But this is the holographic card. It should weigh even more. I'm going to put it face down before we look at what the card is. 2.29 grams on that hollow. So, and that would be the difference between you know one of these packs and one of these packs. You're looking at roughly, because we were looking at 1.85 or so. So, I mean, that's at least 45 um, hundredths of a gram. So you can add that to, you know, one of these packs. And that's basically where you get that weight. All right, so without further ado, I know you guys are probably wondering what this hollow is. Let's look at the back side. I'm going to tilt this up just a little bit. Man, it looks really nice. I hope it's something very nice on the front. Centering is good. Don't see any white around the edges. Oh, Alakazam. Man, look at that. Beautiful condition. Hope I pull a Charizard from one of these packs because the condition on them has been great. It's like they've done extra printing along the edges so there's no chipping at all. I haven't seen any, I didn't see a print line on the Hitmonchan either. And then the backside looks like it's a lot better quality too. I mean, I'm going to get in close on those edges. See if there's something right there. I thought there was, but looks like it was just a a little bit of a lip. Man, very good condition. So maybe this these heavier, super heavy packs have a higher print quality. I don't know if that's true or not, but it looks like these packs, at least from this box, definitely do. But that's why you shouldn't trust this kind of stuff always. Um, if you're going to buy a pack based on the weight uh, when you're online, check out the seller's description. Talk to them, see if they just bought a bunch of packs from somewhere and then weighed them out and said, hey, you know what, based on this, since it's around 21 grams, I'm going to call it heavy because that's not always going to be the case. It's not always going to be you know, a defining factor for if a pack is going to be heavy or not. The best way to tell is to buy a sealed box or to buy from someone who has bought a sealed box and compared the light packs to the heavy packs because then you can get a definitive answer because there should be a half a gram or so difference between the light packs weight and the heavy packs weight at least for base fossil and jungle it gets really thin when you start looking at 
gym series set, Team Rocket, and sometimes even with Neos, it's like down to 0.1 or 0.2 grams. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Always be careful when you're out there buying from other people because it's not always a guarantee. And um, like with my packs, I definitely usually offer a guarantee, especially if I open them up and I sell to you a heavy pack. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll be opening up some of these heavy base set packs very soon. Thanks. Thank you.